Hey guys, it's Rain. So today I was about to turn all this, well, some of this headpins into eyepins, and I thought I'd share. It's actually really easy. I'm just using headpins because I have a ton of them, and I just I need some uh, eyepins. But you can work with a wire as well. But I'm going to be taking one. If you're working with a headpin. You have to remove this part. If you're working with a wire, you just have to uh, cut how much wire you need. I'm going to be taking my round nose pliers and I'm just going to be placing my wire, placing this so I don't see anything in there. So not like this, but more like this. You know what I mean? So I don't have any excess out of my uh, round nose pliers. I'm just going to be going around it. This is what I have. I'm gonna be then just my pliers and as far as pliers I find that working with this kinds that have like this I don't know lines or just texture on them are easier and better to work with for this than this ones because this ones have lines in there but they're like smoother and they are slippery as opposed to this ones they hold the eye pin in place I'm gonna be taking well this one and then I'm going to be placing my loop in there like straight placing this just before my loop begins if that makes sense so i'm just gonna close it i'm just gonna be holding this hand tight i'm gonna be placing my nail in there if your nails are short don't worry just use your finger and then i'm just gonna be pulling it towards me and there you have it i'm just gonna be taking my other pliers and i'm gonna be smoothing the whole thing this is not necessary just you know for some you may use them for some you may not another thing that i wanted to mention is that the closer of the end of your round nose pliers the smaller your loop is gonna be the more you go to the other side the bigger your loop is gonna be so i'm just gonna show you one hold tight and there you have it one thing that I used to do is I used to make these kinds of loops. This one is like I showed you right now. And this one is not as round, but more like this shape. I used to take my brown nose, but instead of like stopping right here like that, I used to uh, take my wire outside my brown nose pliers. And what this is going to do, instead of working with the round shape of this, it's going to be making almost a line in there like that, right? As opposed to a round one that looks like this. I think it looks um, way better like this, but I mean, it's pretty much personal preference. I just am sharing with you how to make this and what I used to do. I also think it's handy to know how to do those things because sometimes you need a specific size of eye pins and in stores you have like 20 of like one size. This way you can customize to whatever size you need. And I think it's handy to know how to do these things when you kind of like have the um, essentials at home. Like I made the smallest one here, the medium sized one, the middle, and then the biggest one in here. I really hope you liked this and it was helpful. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Check out more DIYs and like custom jewelry that I have on my shelf. And subscribe for more. Let me know what you think of this one and share this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye!